Maine's Climate Council, formed by Governor Janet Mills near the beginning of her first term, issued an updated report today. This council was formed to advise her and future governors on how best to make the state more resilient to the disastrous effects of global warming. The report, called a scientific assessment of climate change and its effects in Maine, paints a somewhat bleak picture of the rest of this century with some glimmers of hope. Here are the bullet points. When it comes to our climate, the warm season is getting longer, and our winters are about two weeks shorter, meaning the amount of snow and ice which then melts into our lakes, rivers, and streams is declining. Meanwhile, winter storms, like the ones we saw in December and January, are projected to become frequent and more intense, and they are the storms that cause the most coastal erosion. If you own a house in Maine, you can expect your homeowner's insurance to go up. The report says we'll see the second largest rate increase in the nation as soon as this year. That's because stronger storms, both here and across the country, are forcing rates up. When it comes to sea levels, we saw records broken in both 2023 and 2024. And if nothing changes, by the end of this century, they could be four feet higher than year 2000 levels. The rising ocean is also getting warmer. The report says the Gulf of Maine is experiencing near constant heat waves, warming faster than 97% of the world's oceans. The reason, the Gulf Stream is migrating north and deflecting the cooler waters of the Labrador Current meaning species of fish and shellfish we rely on may end up migrating to cooler water. Some bright spots, our forests are thriving from the increased carbon dioxide in the air, as are Maine's wetlands, which seem to be teeming with biodiversity and, like trees, are naturals at capturing carbon. But they face a very real threat, humans in the form of development. The council concluded its report by saying there is one resource Mainers can harness right now to find ways to combat climate change. It's hope. Hope that science better explains the urgency in finding solutions and hope that scientists can come up with those answers.